In Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time, who is the Dragon Reborn? What does that mean? Have there been others? Let's find out. Spoilers for the books from the start. 3, 2, 1. Randall Thor is the Dragon Reborn. Now, what does this mean? The Wheel has chosen him to be a Taviran, someone who makes change in the pattern of life. He has been chosen by the Wheel to correct the weave when it begins to not follow the pattern the Wheel has set. The Dragon is the name of the Champion of Light who will confront the Dark One. Rand is also the reincarnation of the Champion from the previous age. This indicates the Champion is brought back in each age. All was shattered and all but memory lost and one memory above all others of him who brought the shadow and the breaking of the world. The pattern dictates that the dragon each time must be a male channeler and be there at the last battle for the forces of light to have a chance. There are also prophecies in relation to the dragon and what he will do once born, such as above, and that he shall wield a sword called Kalandor, and he will be born on Dragon Mount, and so forth. Due to the last dragon, Louis Therrin, the story of the dragon is known in every major city and isolated village, and by many different names he is known. The Sea Folk know him as the Koromor, and the Aeel call him Karakan, the Chief of Chiefs, he who comes with the dawn. Rand is the dragon, but there have been others that seemingly fulfilled the prophecy before him. They are called false dragons. Though they can declare they are a dragon, if they do not fulfill the prophecy, then they are false. There can be several at the same time, and though they may gain fame and glory from declaring, they will inevitably, over time, fall from power. A noted false dragon in the books and a favourite of mine is Logain Ablar. After he began channeling the One Power's male half, Sidin, he declared himself a dragon reborn and at the time was stripped of his land and titles. Perhaps he declared to make up for the loss of that or to fight against it, what was being taken from him. A few years after that, he was captured in a great battle whilst trying to move his army. He killed many Aes Sedai before being captured. The Aes Sedai are an organisation of female channelers who, believing in the prophecy of the dragon, would not want a false dragon gaining power. It is believed that like the true dragon reborn, the false are created by the pattern. They may become more frequent just before the true dragon is declared. Why? We do not know. Perhaps this is to keep the myth of hope of the dragon alive in people's minds, to keep and maintain the hope they have in the face of the Dark One. Whatever the purpose, this changes when the real dragon is declared. At that point, the pattern drops the others, and this is a physical effect. When Rand accepts he's the dragon, all the others were affected by it, falling to some phenom at the same time. Come against me if you dare, I am the storm. Come if you dare, Shaitan, I am the Dragon Reborn. Dear listener, what do you think to the Dragon Reborn? Is it an interesting concept? What more could be done with it? Comment down below. Thank you for checking out my video. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications.